All right, so here is the, the portable solar charger that I put together. Um, I don't have the cart that's over there on the floor, but this will go onto a little dolly cart. Uh, you can read the article that I wrote about everything on this at survivalistprepper.net. I'll make sure and leave a link below this. Uh, but this basically is the setup. I got this box. It's a mini Tonka box because it's got the, it's kind of got the wiring set up. And when I open this up, I'll show you. Uh, I also got the 800 watt power inverter, a 400 watt charge controller. And these solar panels back here are only 13 watts. They're from Harbor Freight. It's a little suitcase thing. But I got those because I wanted to get everything bigger with, with bigger wattage because I plan on upgrading these later. I just got these small 13 watt uh, solar panels because of price, basically. I wanted to try to do this under 300 bucks. Uh, but this, basically, all you do... And I've, I've got to figure out how to get all this stuff, you know, put together right too. But basically, with this container, which has got a couple of DC outlets on the, or yeah, DC outlets on the sides too, uh, which you can use, you know, the USB lighter ports, all of that. But basically, you just take these off. These are just weather protected to protect these from the weather. And this is a hundred watt hour amp hour battery, which is overkill for these solar panels but like I said I'm getting more in the future so if you just connect these two right there we'll turn this inverter on and I don't know if you can see the lamp or not but there's the lamp it's not on plug it in maybe and there we go let me see if I can and it turns on. So let me go ahead and shut this off and explain to you everything I did what you need to do. Basically the the solar panels all solar panels come with most I should say come with a connection like this and this set of solar panels came with a couple alligator clips like this that I just basically cut the ends off and put them into the inverter right here. The inverters have a positive and negative for your solar panel and a positive and negative uh, for your charge controller to go to the battery. And then from the battery I hooked up the power inverter that is basically this is unhooked and when I plug these in there it's hooked up. That's kind of what I like about this box as well. Now let me open this up and kind of show you the insides here. The insides, you can see it's, it's a Duracell 100 watt battery, or maybe you can't see. But what I did, see if I can tilt it towards you a little bit. Uh, what I did was put a towel in the front of the battery to keep the screws that I put in. I mounted these on, so I kept keep the screws from hitting the battery. And the charge controller goes in through a hole that I drilled in there and hooks up to these battery terminals right here. And then these two hook up these two outside terminals right there. So when this box is closed, I don't need to open that. And if I add anything to this, say a, little, a couple accessories, I can just tie into those inside here. And then throw this back on, put the strap on, and it makes it portable. This box was about $60. It's got a 10 amp fuse and a one or a 60 amp fuse. This was about 60 bucks. But I figure it's worth it because I thought about building one myself, just getting a toolbox and cutting some holes in it. But this, with having these two adapters, having the, the, the terminals on the outside, and just being a good overall carrying case, I decided this was worth the 60 bucks to make my life easier. Um, so that's it. Like I said, make sure and read the article if you want a little bit more information. Uh, if you need any more information on this or whatever, just leave a comment on the video and I'll, I'll answer you to the best of my ability. Uh, this is my first attempt, so I'm not any kind of guru or anything, but I'll do what I can. And if I can't, I'll point you in the right direction. So appreciate everybody watching and take care.